and the room is spinning. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and tomorrow I take a 10-hour red-eye flight, so my bed is going to be a mile high in the air. Very protective of my sleep, and I want to show you what interesting things happen to my biomarkers, so I will be tracking with an aura ring, an ultra-human... Oop, don't do that. An ultra-human ring, a whoop strap, and a blood glue... It's not that side. Blood glucose monitor. Then after the flight, my bed's gonna be a hotel, which will also give us really interesting results. Stay tuned to learn the crazy biochemical reasons behind this. It's really interesting. First, we need a baseline. To show you my typical sleep in a bed that my brain knows, my readiness score for Aura is 83, and sleep score is 77. And that's my usual, I do good, which is grammatically incorrect. But anyway, my scores are never off the charts, even with Ultra Human, my sleep is 80, and then my recovery score 77. And then for Whoop, I got a green, which is pretty decent, 76%, and that is my typical, and now let's mess with those numbers to the airbed. I wore these absolutely doofy blue light blocking glasses all the way here to hopefully help me sleep better. I don't know if that's cheating, but I do it at home too, so th that's fine. Do you hear that baby crying? This is gonna be a great snooze. I'm totally gonna recover. I got this a weirdo tablet pillow suggested by Ben Greenfield. He suggests a lot of weirdo things and supposedly yeah. it should help me sleep better. I need to figure out the correct adjustment. This is actually for a different video where I try out all of Ben Greenfield's bajillion travel hacks, but hopefully it will help me with this one. Nice and noisy. I'm gonna go earplugs. So it varies right now. Oh. It's so weird seeing blue light again. So I'm going sleep mask. Noise. This specific sleep mask is one Tim Ferriss recommended. I just listened to all the biohacker men. Snoozing? Yeah. You look comfy. I'm not bad for economy. I should have had you wear your whoop so we can see your recovery score. Terrible. Really arming myself to get the best score possible. Wish me luck. This is harder because it's kilograms. Before we get the results, I'm giving you a bonus travel hack. This is advice from another bro, The Rock this time. He says to fight jet lag, as soon as he lands, he works out immediately. So that's why we're here. Sorry for the interruption. Results time. I'm doing this in the hallway because Christine is sleeping. My scores were abysmal. Who is surprised? My readiness for aura is 63. Mm -hmm. Sleepless night, yes. Ultra human is saying that I need attention. Sleep the next 37. Sleep longer. And my aura sleep score, 35 which I have never gotten a score that low ever in my multiple years of wearing an aura. Ah, and how fitting it tells me a sleep-friendly environment is the key to sleeping soundly. So I actually am a bit surprised. I set myself up to succeed here. I was eyes closed for 10 hours and I had all the biohacks and I was pretty tired before I got on the plane, but I still only slept four hours-ish. That was just a waste of 10 hours being conscious with a sleep mask on. But tonight, I'm at a hotel, I've got a bed, so I'm gonna bounce back. Ah, this is where it gets really interesting. There's this phenomenon called the first night effect where the first night you sleep in a new surrounding, half of your brain stays awake. Relocating, because there's a dude making a very loud phone call. <laughs> okay. This has been observed in sleep labs. The first night they measure the subjects, their right side of their brain gets more deep sleep than the left, and that's because the left is like, where are we? Is this dangerous? I'm gonna stay up just a little bit. You're Brain is basically staying alert and protecting you from the unknown, and that is a bird and dolphin thing. They do it all the time, and us humans do it when we're in a new place and we don't even realize that we're kind of scared. So I am very excited to see how my sleep goes tonight, and then if I improve on the second night. We forgot a whole other measurement from the device known as my subjective feelings, and I should mention, I feel like crap. I'm trying to get work done, and the room is spinning. I feel like I'm on a boat. I'm used to nine hours in bed, eight hours hours worth of sleep on a good day and I cannot handle this at all. I know there are people that power through sleep deprivation. I am 
I, I have done so many takes. I keep deleting clips because I can't even talk to you correctly. And my blood sugar device is telling me I'm not doing well. I had a protein bar and got a spike. This is something that people do not realize. Bad sleep is really gonna screw over your metabolism. You will have a lot of trouble getting into fat burning mode. You'll be way more hungry. I'm always thinking about, oh, what can I eat to keep my blood sugar nice and low and level? But really, sleep has a huge effect. So I am very much looking forward to this, regardless if my subconscious is perhaps nervous. Results time. This is crazy. I got a crown from Aura. This is the highest sleep score I've ever gotten. I've never gotten a crown. Also the highest sleep score I've ever gotten from Ultra Human, although I haven't been wearing it that long. That's crazy, because my HRV is not that high. I think it's because I was in bed for nine and a half hours. It's commending me. Aura also says, looks like your sleep schedule hasn't been consistent. Uh, yeah. My whoop is more aligned with how I feel. It's saying my HRV is low and I have a yellow recovery. Yeah, speaking of how I feel, it's crap. I feel awful. I'm nauseous and still kind of dizzy and bleh. What time is it right now? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. No, it's 2 a.m. How did you sleep? You know, they know because I was out in the hallway while you were napping. <laughs> I feel like I'm more resilient than you, though. You think? Yeah, I very much think yeah. so. You can... So. <laughs> Excuse me. I got seven hours and 52 minutes. <laughs> That's not enough! Exactly, like, shush, and just go on with your day. But the problem is you don't know how low-functioning you are. When your brain isn't at its highest peak, it can't tell because it's not at its highest peak. It's true that people sleep-deprived can't tell that they are. I mean... I guess it's weird that I'm saying that I can. Whatever, I feel awful right now. And I already worked out. Very heavy deadlifting in kilograms. And I had a protein shake and my blood sugar is acting like I'm diabetic. It's crazy. I've never seen such a spike from just protein. So again, my crappy sleep is affecting my glucose control, which means now I'm not burning fat. I'm storing it and getting closer to inflammation and diabetes and obesity and heart disease and all the bad things that come with bad glucose control. Stress gives you bad glucose control too. I need to stop worrying. Oh no, our shower was broken so they gave us a new room which means we have to redo the first night effect. It's like this hotel doesn't give a crap about my recovery. Yep, this morning is what I expected. Crap sleep scores, and even though I committed to almost 10 hours in bed, I care about myself. I only got six hours and 51 minutes of sleep, so that means I was awake for three hours. Not half awake, just actual awake. And subjectively, I feel pretty bleh. But come on, brain, now you know your surroundings. Let's have a nice travel day and come back and sleep comfortably. Well, I just gave a talk, and I forgot to film for you because I'm very tired, so here's an image that someone else took. But it didn't go well. I am now high on adrenaline, so I cannot tell that I have not slept well. I just realized I forgot to show you my whoop measurement, and it's saying I'm in the green. And this is an illustration of why I started tracking so many ways. It's really nice to get a second opinion, especially if it doesn't align with how you feel or if it's making you feel crappier. There's this phenomenon called the nocebo effect. It is the opposite of placebo, where if you're told that you're not doing so hot, you will actually feel worse and your biomarkers will head in a negative direction. So the fact that I have a ton of these could get dangerous for my brain, but I like to use them as an indicator that I should take everything with a grain of salt and and listen to my own body. Unless, like today, I feel like crap, and Whoop says, nope, you're fine, so then I feel fine. I'm gonna go work out. I am so tired. My brain better shut the heck off, both sides of it. Results time. Also, yes, I am in another hotel, so my brain has to again get used to here before I can sleep well. This is why it's so easy to get run down while you're traveling. So to compare the days, Aura said I was a 68 on the first night for my readiness score, and the second night an 80. That's a huge jump. Then my sleep score went from a 57 on the first night to a 77 on the second night. Wow, brain, way to pay attention. I mean, not pay attention. Calm down and go to sleep. And then my ultra human ring is saying the same thing. I went from a 70 sleep index to a 75. And recovery from 82 to 83, that's still upward. We're all trending yes. Except for whoop. On the first night, it said I had an 89% recovery. That's green. It's always great to see green and whoop. And then it is always terrifying to see red. The next night, 31. That's nutso. I think something got messed up because it's saying that I slept 
three hours and 45 minutes. This is why you need multiple trackers. Or no trackers, just go based on how your body feels. That's also important. Right now I feel pretty great. But we'll see after this new bed. Speaking of multiple trackers, look at this in my glucose score. All the days leading up to my travel, I'm getting 87, 84, 84, 83, that's a B, you know, out of 100. And then as soon as I start traveling, 62, that's a D, 72 C, 60s, 70s. I'm doing quite poorly. All of a sudden, my glucose control is terrible. And it's not just because my eating is different. I've been paying attention and having a lot of fiber and protein and still, oh, and we're walking a ton, but my body cannot handle it because it's just run down. Had I slept enough, I know for sure my glucose would have been a nice and low and level healthy graph. For eating the exact same thing. What if I just slept on the plane two nights in a row in the same seat had I done better the second night? We've definitely shown that my brain has the first night effect and now you can be aware of it when you travel as well. And if you like this, you'll definitely like seeing my video about the eight sleep mattress. It explains why I'm not happy to be sleeping in a foreign mattress. And by foreign, I don't mean one that's in another country. I mean one that isn't mine that keeps me cool at night because it's a smart mattress. I'll put that video down there for you. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I have reviewed countless products on my health and fitness channel over four years. And if you came to me and said, hey, what's the one product I should get today that will make the biggest difference in my health, fitness, and happiness? Hmm, that is a big ask. Yeah, and also note that I said product, not change 